All right, so hello and welcome to this video tutorial for RC Hibbler's Engineering Mechanics Statics textbook. We have this problem here from chapter four, which is asking us to determine the moment of the force about point O. We have this diagram here where point O is, is, is on the left here, and we have this 100 Newton force acting um, diagonally onto our structure. I feel like the best place to start with this problem is to decompose this 100 Newton force into its constituent um, horizontal and vertical components, because that will provide a simpler basis on which to take moments. So let's go ahead and do that. We know that this force has a magnitude of 100 Newtons, uh, and we have this 345 triangle idea here. What that's basically telling us, and I've kind of diagrammatized that on the, the right hand side here, is that for every five that this force is acting, it acts three down and four across. Okay, so evidently then, if we're to add the vertical component to our diagram here, that is going to take a value of 60, 60 Newtons. So the reason that this is 60 Newtons is because 60 is three fifths of 100, right? And uh, the horizontal component here is going to take a value of 80. So let's just add that to our diagram here. Okay, so we've kind of decomposed this 100 Newton force here. Let's just kind of scribble it out so that we're, we're just working with our, our 60 and our 80 um, uh, horizontal and vertical components here. Now, to take moments, the way I always kind of conceptualize taking moments is to imagine that we are placing our finger on the point about which we're taking a moment and we're imagining well, okay, if we're to look, if we're to imagine the these two forces acting about this point, are they going to kind of rotate the paper clockwise or anti-clockwise? Okay. Um, now, in this context, both these components, if we imagine we're placing our finger on this point O here, both of these components are going to enact a clockwise moment. Okay. Um, so we're going to get quite uh, maybe a large kind of uh, clockwise moment from this here. Okay, so let's go ahead and take moments then. Uh, if you're unaware already, a moment is nothing but the product of um, the uh, force and the perpendicular distance from the point about which you're taking moments. So we can say the sum of moments acting about point O acting clockwise is equal to, in this case, uh, 60 times 5 um, plus uh, 80 times 2, okay? Now, uh, we can do this in our heads. So 60 times 5, that gives 300. 80 times 2, that gives 160. So we can say then that the total clockwise moment here is going to be 460 Newton meters, and evidently it's acting uh, clockwise. So let's just add that to our notes here, acting clockwise. Okay, so this is our solution here. If you have any questions or comments about that problem, please feel free to leave them down in the comment section down below as it helps me out in the algorithm. And thank you very much for watching.